Hey, gamers, today, I want to share my thoughts on the highly praised game, Shadows of Doubt. I recently decided to give it a try, and I must say, I have some mixed feelings about it. The biggest issue I have with Shadows of Doubt is that it falls short as a detective game. Unlike traditional detective games where you can question witnesses and present evidence, here, you're left without those crucial elements. The murder clues are conveniently placed at the crime scene, leaving no room for you to actively seek evidence. The victim's identity and cause of death are instantly revealed, and your only task is to find the fingerprint that doesn't belong and match it to a random NPC. It lacks the depth and complexity that make detective games so engaging. One of the major drawbacks is the absence of any real mystery. There's no motive behind the crimes, and the lack of reactions, witnesses, and conflicting accounts removes any sense of intrigue. You're left with the straightforward task of finding the killer, devoid of any drama or ambiguity. It feels more like a census taker's job than that of a true detective. The game claims to offer different approaches to solving the murder, but in reality, there's little choice other than breaking into people's homes illegally. Whether it's picking locks or navigating through poorly designed air vents, the choices feel limited and forced. The gameplay elements often feel shallow and gamey, with passcodes conveniently placed in the same room as the padlocks they unlock. However, once you adjust your expectations and accept that Shadows of Doubt is not a true detective game, it can serve as a decent time killer. It can be enjoyable to play while listening to podcasts or engaging in other activities. Think of it as a crossword puzzle, enjoyable, but not something that will satisfy your craving for an immersive detective experience. On the technical side, I have to say that Shadows of Doubt left much to be desired. The game's performance is far from optimal, with frequent freezing during actions like quicksaving or opening the map, inventory, or clue screen. These moments of unresponsiveness can be frustrating, and the only solution seems to be restarting the game regularly. Additionally, reloading the game takes an unexpectedly long time, even on fast storage. While Shadows of Doubt can look visually appealing outdoors, the quality drops significantly indoors. The lack of indirect lighting results in pitch black areas unless directly illuminated, making it difficult to search through containers. Generated interiors often look unappealing and fail to create a cohesive visual experience. In conclusion, Shadows of Doubt is a game that falls short of its promise as a true detective experience. Its lack of detective mechanics, absence of mystery, and limited choices may disappoint fans seeking a more immersive gameplay. However, if you approach it as a casual time killer and manage your expectations accordingly, you may find some enjoyment in its unique puzzles. Just be prepared for technical frustrations and visual inconsistencies along the way. Have you played Shadows of Doubt? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more gaming content. Until next time, happy gaming!